Howdy kids, Glenn here, and we're going to review some more of the pops that I picked up this week. Today is all about evil. So we're going to review Chucky and the Wendigo from Hannibal, Cersei from Game of Thrones, and her son Joffrey. So let's check out all these really, really bad people. All right, for the first in our set of evildoers, we have Chucky, number 56 from the movies line. And pretty much just an ad for Child's Play 2 there. Uh, it doesn't show any of the other movies uh, figures. Bam and bam. For the figure, you can see it's pretty much a dead-on match for the picture. Um, the his clothes are a little bit lighter, but um, as far as the figure itself goes, I really like the look of this figure. V lots of colors. Um, I mean, stripes. You don't see you don't see very many pops that have this many different colors in them. With his good guys outfit, I mean, stripes everywhere. The light blue. Um, you know, the super stark orange red hair. Scars on the scar on the face. Um, you know, very menacing knife in his hand. So this is a very, a really good mold. Um, as far as the paint job goes, um, the paint looks good. Um, top of the head, which is what we're always looking at, looks really good. The only flaws I can really see, and I don't even think these are flaws. I think these are actually, this is actually on purpose. He's got little scuff marks. Um, sorry, I'm holding it wrong there. Little, uh, scuff marks in his overalls but i think those are like knife marks and meant to be him his uh, clothes being beat up so yeah if you look here you can see it matches the picture you've got these two indentions so um, good detail there nice little um nice little additions good thoughts to uh kind of make him as authentic as possible but this figure actually looks looks really good it's one of my favorite looking figures for being out of the box so this is Chucky number 56. Okay, next in our evil pop haul, we've got Wendigo from the Hannibal TV series. This is in television, number 150. Um, this is actually a pretty awesome figure, but it's a little spooky. I like it a lot. It's very dark and very, um, very scary looking. Um, you've got the rest of the Hannibal figures on the back. And their nice little ad it even has an ad for NBC and Hannibal. Unfortunately, NBC has just canceled Hannibal, so it won't be back next year. It's wrapping up its last few uh, episodes, and it doesn't look like it's going to get picked up by any other network. So that's kind of a bummer, because this is one of my favorite shows. Um, I was looking forward to what they were going to do um, with the characters, considering they were going to try to follow along with the movies um, somewhat with the series. So um, hopefully... Um, it'll get some life back, but uh, ratings being as they are, uh, it just wasn't doing very well. So, But we've got the figures to look at, and we like them a lot. So this is Wendigo. I actually got this figure in the big old box of stuff box I got this month. So um, as far as pop hauls, this is the only one I'm showing um, in this series that I got from a box. Um, as, far as, the, as far as the figure goes... Um, mostly black, obviously, but when you have a black figure like this, you're very susceptible to paint flaws. That being said, I don't see anything here. No specks of white, no mess-ups at all. This mold is going to be a pretty easy mold for them since it's mostly black. It's not like it's something that, had to, that was white and had to be painted. Um, so they could just make it um, a lot easier being all black. Uh, you've got the red claw tips, which is an the only hint of color other than the silver eyes, so it gives a very menacing look to that uh, to that Wendigo figure. So very awesome, e e even down to the hooves. Uh, it's a little bit shaky standing up out of the box, but it does its job. So that's Wendigo number 150. Okay, continuing our Evil Doers part of the pop haul, we are going to tackle a couple of the baddies from Game of Thrones, starting with Cersei Lannister. She is number 11 in the Game of Thrones collection. She is in edition two, so the second set of pops that they released for Game of Thrones. 
There's a lot of Game of Thrones pops, so they have their own uh, numbered series, uh, unlike a, a uh, series like The Walking Dead, which also has a lot of pops, but is mixed in with the rest of the television. Personally, I like the fact that Game of Thrones has their own set, so if you're anal like me and like to put your pops in number order, they're all together. So nice. As far as the figure goes, the first thing I like about this figure the most is she stands up on her own, unlike many of the female pops that you see with their little tidy feet. She has a nice big surface area because of that nice long dress that she's wearing. Um, as far as the uh, pop itself, I like the pose. She is posed just like she is on the box in a way that's very fitting for her character. Yeah, I'm a bitch, so what? What are you going to do about it? So I really like the pose there. Um, as far as the model goes, I really, this is one of my favorite pops as far as the hair goes. Not only do you have the very detailed braid going in the back, but this is one of the very few pops where the hair is textured and precise throughout the whole thing. So the hair looks really good on this particular pop. Um, they did a good job with that. The rest of the figure, uh, no visible blemishes. Um, there's a little bit of a scuff on her, the left side of her chest there. Um, but other than that, it looks okay. There's a little scuff on the bottom, um, but you're never seeing the bottom anyway, right? The head looks good. The, the coloring, not a lot of bleeding. She even has rings on her fingers, so very detailed as far as Okay, last in this set is King Joffrey Baratheon. Um, he is number 14 in the Game of Thrones set. You can see that um, the model looks very similar to the box. And this is in edition 3 of the Game of Thrones set. He's the second one. A lot of pops in this particular set. They really hit their stride with this one. A lot of... Uh, a lot of the animals coming in, the dire wolves and the uh, dragons coming in this edition. All right. Uh, Joffrey, uh, looking good. He's got his crossbow, um, which is pretty fitting. Uh, this whole figure is very much the prime of Joffrey, basically right when he became the king. Um, I would love to see a custom or a figure of poison to Joffrey, so this would be a good thing to make that from, but um, that's for other people to do, not me. Um, as far as this basic figure goes, um, nice paint job, no visible flaws, everything looks pretty good. Um, the, from the red sash to his kind of dull gold um, tunic, his boots look good, uh, and the crown. Crown is very ornate. They did a really good job with uh, his crown there and just looking evil and every much the boy that everyone hates um, or everyone loves to hate and there you go Joffrey number 14 okay kids thanks for watching thanks for letting me invade your nightmares and we'll see you with the next set of pops